Boy, I just, such a precious spirit of the Lord here. Hallelujah. God withheld my spirit, says the Lord, in measures that people have asked for. Because if I had came, they would have not have valued me. For if my spirit had come, says the Lord, it would have been used to promote men and not me, saith God. So I withheld myself from my house. And much has been built in my name, says the Lord. But know this, I am tearing that down, which has not been built on the foundation of Jesus Christ. No man, says the Lord, will be able to take my glory for that which I'm getting ready to release into the nations, saith God, will be of such magnitude that books will not even be able to describe that which is being released out of heaven, saith the Lord. For even this house, saith God, that which you are getting to erect, saith the Lord, call it the barracks, because out of it, saith God, it will have an army of the Lord that shall begin to shake your state, saith God. For there is a foundation in this house that has been built on the rock Christ Jesus. And though there have been many that have passed on, that have paid the price, that which other men have labored for, this congregation shall enter into, saith the Lord. And that which you are releasing now and that which has already been planted in the soil shall come together as a mighty move of the power of the Holy Ghost. Think it not strange that you are close to a military base. Think it not strange that you have military in this house, for this is a strategic house, saith the Lord, that I am raising up in this hour, and you shall go forth as a mighty army, saith God. And there are weapons that I'm getting ready to release to you, hallelujah that you've never had and never operated in but I am preparing you saith God for the release of the greatest outpouring of the spirit of the Lord for this saith God in this nation though there have been many that have marshaled armies that are saying now we are moving Christ out of our culture hallelujah saith the Lord I am not going to be moved you will will not discard me from that which I have created and that which I have built. Your eyes shall behold what the prophets of old have desired. I have saved the best for last, saith the Lord, for there is a wave of the power of the Lord that's coming. It has been a long time and it has only been a select places that the church has been combined with the host of the Lord called angels. But this move is the final move, and it will be angels, saith the Lord, standing alongside believers. You will see them with your eyes at times. This house, saith the Lord, this move, saith God, will not be defeated. Though the enemy looks like they have marched on with great momentum, the only reason they have in this nation is because I have held the church back. I sequestered her. I kept her hidden. I have retired some men that would not be able to lead this congregation, this church into battle. They will never assume their positions of old, but I am raising up men now, saith the Lord, and women that I am positioning in the army of the Lord, and I am going to give them a requisition by the power of the Holy Ghost. You have never seen the healings that are going to take place. That which took place in Azusa, saith the Lord, was just a primer of the pump of what is getting ready to happen in the house of God.
God. I take authority over every demon, over every spirit that has raised itself up against me, saith God. I am not a man that I should be moved by a demon. Before there was ever a devil, there was God Almighty who ruled in the heavens and the earth. I have not abdicated my throne. I have not given it to somebody else that is greater than I. For there is no one greater than me, saith God. So I swear by myself, in the honor of my word, I will perform that which I have already declared through the prophets of old in the Bible. The church saith God that I am raising up. This nation is not seen. There has been a counterfeit movement that produced great numbers, that produced great buildings. And while they asked me to look at the glory of their homes and their houses, spirits marched unopposed and stole the fruit of your wombs, not just in the natural, but there was a spiritual abortion that took place in this nation until the last two decades, church declined because of the killing of the womb of the church. But I have declared that that which harms the womb will also pay. And I am going to raise up, saith God, out of the womb of the wicked, that which they thought was theirs shall now become mine. And the growth that you're getting ready to see will not be transferred from another house, but this will be growth that will come out of the enemy's camp. Prepare yourself, saith God, for they will come in drunk, but they will walk out sober. They will come in addicted, but they will walk out set free. But this time, saith God, it will not be by the laying on of hands, but it will be by the manifested glory of my presence that will be of such greatness that the house, the walls, the ceiling will not be able to contain the glory. It will spill out of the walls. It will get in your parking lots. It will get in your highways. Know this, saith the Lord, the day shall come across this nation uh, that highways shall come to a grinding halt uh, because cars will be stopped uh, and they will have been moved on by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, you will see thousands come to me uh, before they ever get inside of the building. Uh, they'll lay in your parking lots. Uh, they'll lay on the street being baptized with the power of the Holy Ghost. You say, how can this be? If I can heal a leper, if I can dry up a Red Sea, if I can command the sun to still, still, do you not think, hallelujah, that I do not control the hearts of men? Though you have never seen my sovereignty like you're going to see, saith God, it's getting ready to be unveiled and un and release, saith the Lord, not in 30-fold, not in 60-fold, but a hundredfold of my presence. <laughs> you said, but God, you're not moving. We've not seen it. The Lord says, you don't know it, but I have been placing strategic men and women in places of strongholds. And God says that this last move, you won't think about numbers because there'll never really be places big enough 
to house the glory of God. I told you in my word, saith God, that the gates of my house in that day shall not be shut. And though the natural men understood that success means you don't close your stores, God said, I'm getting ready to release such a presence of myself that you won't be able to shut your doors anymore. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, saith the Lord, they'll come and go, and the sound of prayer shall continually be in my house. The strongholds that I am breaking in this nation were strongholds, they were foundational stones of the devil's kingdom. Abortion was a stronghold of an ungodly culture, says the Lord. And I already showed you this year that when I want to reverse something, I can reverse it. And he said, I waited to reverse Roe versus Wade until I did it in an evil administration and not in a conservative one. For many would have said it was done through politics, but I did it, says the Lord, when evil ruled, when injustice ruled, when the majority of lawmakers said that can't be changed. I marched in, says the Lord. I moved the heart of men. I declared that it would be reversed. Do not think simply because they turned it over to the states, it will continue to operate. But I say this to every state that continues to go against my word. I will begin to send disasters upon them because this final move of the Lord is not a move of death, but it is a move of life. I came not to kill, kill or destroy, but I came to give life and that more abundantly. I will take Planned Parenthood buildings and I will turn them into churches. I will take abortion clinics, saith God, and I will let sinners be birthed in the spirit in the house of the Lord. And that which the enemy has set in motion for several years to deal with the sexuality of this nation and to pervert it. In one year's time, saith the Lord, I will do such a move that schools will change their curriculum. Sharabobobo Sunday. Hallelujah. What I am doing, says the Lord, will be so great because there's not much time left. So the Lord says, I am going to cause time to be filled with greatness. There are going to be worship leaders and psalmists and musicians that today are bound by homosexuality that will be instantly set free by the power of God. And the enemy saith the Lord because Lucifer was a worshiper. He has targeted worshipers in that community. And I say, that there is a move of the Lord coming to these precious men and women. And I am going to set them free by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord says that the enemy seemingly has made much progress in this nation in the last two years but it is because I've allowed him to. And God says the reason I allowed him to is because when I raise up victory flags, it will be that much sweeter 
because the enemy will say, how did this happen? And the Lord says, it's not by might and it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, saith the Lord. Even right now, I take authority over every demon spirit of sickness in this building right now in the name of the Lord. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And through my prophet servant tonight, I release right now, saith God, from side to side and from front to back. I release as a wave off of the ocean. I release it. Hallelujah. And in the midst of this house, healing is being released by the power of God. Do you not think I have power over arthritis and diabetes, high blood pressure, heart conditions, cancer? It doesn't matter, saith the Lord. When I release my power, I am raising up an army that is not sick, that is not wounded, that is not depressed, it's not discouraged, but they shall be a strong army that knows their God. God, and they shall operate in the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm releasing a boldness, hallelujah, on my people that no longer will you be ashamed to declare my name, but I'm going to release you in restaurants. I'm going to release you on box stores. I'm going to release you in the midst of the mall. And when I say go, go, because my glory is going to be released out of you by the power of the Spirit, and ye shall see. See uh, the mandate of God uh, and the hand of God uh, released on my people. I'm going to so mess up your theology. I'm going to so mess up your church etiquette. I'm going to so change the way you think it ought to be that you'll stand in confusion and say, we didn't think God could move this way. But my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. I'm going to do it my way for my glory, and it will bring forth the harvest, saith the Lord. I have taken my time, says the Lord, because I have been amassing an army. This army, saith the Lord, will come with scars from wounds, not from demons, but from the seasons that I wounded you to bring humility upon you and there are thousands upon thousands says the Lord of my people who have reached a place to where they think God is it over I brought you to the end of yourself so you can see the beginning of me Harabobobo Sunday I broke you as a potter would break the vessel. I allowed you to lay in pieces. And when you wept, I wept with you. I felt your pain, but I saw your potential. I heard you cry to me, and as a father, I longed to hold you, but you were in metamorphosis, and you were being changed from glory to glory. If I had allowed my servants just to do it in their own strength, with their own talent, Hell would have laughed, and demons would not have ever bowed down. So I put you in the fires, and I burned until all that was in you that was not of me 
disappeared. That when people see you, says the Lord, you are so transparent that they no longer see you, but they only see me. But I will not leave you broken, and I will not leave you wounded. But this year, says the Lord, is a divine decree out of heaven. Heal. 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 In a quick way. Watch your wounds close up. Hallelujah. And I will take the spirit of heaviness off of my people that this evil government has put on the earth for the last two years. And this despair that's gotten a hold of this nation that was birthed for my glory. You watch me say it, God, I'm going to reverse this heaviness. I'm going to reverse this despair. And I'm going to switch it. And the Lord says, I'm going to take it off of my people. And I'm going to put it on the wicked. And hear me, says the Lord. There is an exchange coming. And everything that the enemy said he would do to my children, now saith the Lord, I'm going to reverse it and I'm going to do it to them. And though they said God does not see us, there is no God, we will not bow down. Our prosperity is our strength in a moment. Watch it. You will remember there will be a 24-hour period, saith the Lord, that will take place in the earth. And in that 24-hour period, news channels will go crazy because they will not know how to declare and report what is happening in the midst. They will say, how could this be? How did this happen? We thought we had that covered. And just when they barred their front door, God says, I'll send angels through the back door. But when I get in their house, saith the Lord, the fires of holiness, the fires of Pentecost, saith God. Know this, saith the Lord. This move in the house of God is not a mundane move. It's not a pacified move move but just as I birthed it on the day of Pentecost with fire saith the Lord so am I loosing fire in the house of the Lord every denomination every denomination saith the Lord that says we don't like that I am going to walk away from permanently and they will become empty coffins full of dead men's bones. Because my ways are going to be unique. And just as I'm ripping control from the evil, so am I ripping control, saith God, from leaders in my house that said, we're in control. They will embrace the outpouring of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. God says this is not a theological debate. You're still in the church age. And the Lord says the glory of my house in the last days shall be full of power. In the 50s, saith the Lord... There were great men that I used to heal. People came from around the world to their crusades. And it was a God-ordained time. But they had to come from great distances to find one man. Because the gift was in them. Not this time. In fact, says God... <clears throat> What I'm releasing will not be confined to ministry or five-fold ministry. I will still use prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists, and apostles. 
But my anointing was always meant to continually flow. Not just on them, but on my people. So when I challenge you, be prepared when you walk into a restaurant, when you walk into a mall. Be prepared because my glory is now releasing, even as it was on Aaron's head into the beard, into the skirts. This is a skirt anointing, saith God. This is an anointing that's going to come on the entire body of Christ. For everyone that I have wounded, I will also bind up and heal by the power of the Lord. When I heal you, and I am healing you, says the Lord, in the nations, not just in this nation, but this move is an earth move. It is a world move. Hallelujah. For my word does not say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for a nation, but he gave it for nations. Hallelujah. I did not say to Abraham's seed, but I said to thy seeds. Hallelujah. Shall the glory be released. This move, saith God, is going to hit communist countries. I'm going to hit Cuba by the power of the Holy Ghost and what Castro said I am going to stop for over 40 years watch me say it the Lord there is a revival coming to the to the country of Cuba that small island and the glory of God it's going to be like a tsunami that hits it and when it does I will wash away voodoo I will wash away black magic I will wash away communism and I will lose the majesty and the glory of the Lord. You ought say it the Lord. The first nations that I will begin to pour out my glory on will be China, will be Russia, will be India. It will be nations as Pakistan that have said we don't believe in Jesus Christ. Get ready say it the Lord. Jesus Christ Almighty is going to be unveiled in strongholds. You say, how can this be? Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. I reign in China. It does not matter what it looks like. I already have believers that are paying the price that have shed their blood for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Can I stand at a distance and say, sorry, I can't move here. No, I'm going to pour out my glory on these nations just as the enemy tried to kill the world out of China. It will be one of the very first places that the glory of God begins to be released by the power of the Holy Ghost ghosts you have thought way too small saith God you have limited me to some little petty problem that you have but don't you know your God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can even ask or think for the enemy told you your need is paramount but to me it's just a whisper of a word I speak, and the heart of your child is touched. Prepare yourselves for phones will begin to ring in parents' homes. Sunday. <laughs> and the word that I have declared, train up a child in the ways that they should go, and when they're old, they shall not depart from it. It was that they wouldn't forget. And now saith God over my saints with unsaved children, I'm going to bring them home. We'll be part of the first harvest that begins to come into the kingdom of the Lord. And in many instances, saith God, it won't be because they're in the building when they got saved. They will have a divine encounter with me in their car, in their bedroom in different places that they will come to know me in all of my glory. Harabobo Sunday. Hallelujah. Oh, my love for you, saith God. You have no idea how I have longed to gather you unto me as a mother hen 
put together her chicks. But I had to wait, saith God, till prophecies could be fulfilled. And I had to wait till certain events happen. But hear me, in 2023 will be the beginning of what you shall see with your physical eyes. And though many of you are experiencing me in the spirit realm, this year, saith the Lord, is about raising up the army and equipping them. Just as Israel wandered from place to place until I told David <clears throat> his son would build me a house. I'm also begin, beginning to take buildings and properties that you do not have money for. And I'm going to buy them for you, <laughs> saith God. In supernatural ways. And the things that I'm going to do in your lives, in the church, in this hour, you'll stand in silence, not out of disbelief, but you will not know what to say to God in gratitude. Tia Babo Sunday. Hallelujah. The enemy has had great success simply because he has been unopposed. But I am raising up my army now. I'm raising up my army. And just as in the natural, many countries have made their military smaller. So the enemy thought that God's army had disappeared. But I am raising up an invisible group of men and women that are highly trained. You will encounter the bruised, the broken, and you will not be overwhelmed because you will say, let me tell you, I've been there. And God did it for me. Your stories will become your sword. Sitala Baba Sunday. You are made overcomers by the word of your testimonies. I have to come quick now, saith God, and fulfill my word because my children are at the point of exhaustion. And many stand and say, Lord, I believe, but there's nothing that gives me hope anymore in the natural. But the only way I can move is to bring you to a place as Abraham. When there was no hope, he still hoped. That God, hallelujah, can speak things that are not as though they were. And that I can quicken things which were dead and bring them back to life. I lose a resurrection anointing. Sunday. Hallelujah. 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 I see graveyards in the spirit where the enemy has buried things that belong to us. And we have gone by and looked at them in our memory banks and said, oh, it, what it used to be like. God says, get your shovels out. Because you're going to have to unearth some things that are being released by the power of the Holy Ghost. When I begin to remove the strongholds, for there are many that are saying that you're going to have to bunker down. That the enemy's going to do all of these things. I say that this move, this harvest will not come under great oppression. But the Lord says, I'm going to reach into the earth and for a season. As I parted the Red Sea for Moses and Israel, 
and they walked across in peace on dry ground for the next two years after this year, 2023 and 2024, I'm going to cause evil to part. And I'm going to hold it back in the nations. Laws will be reversed. Laws will not be passed that evil men want. They will sit in their rooms and go, what is going on? How can this be? We thought we were in charge. But the Lord said, I'm going to allow you to bring in the harvest in peace. In peace. And in abundance. And in that season, says the Lord, of 2023 and 2024, there is going to be a supernatural release of the Spirit of God that will take evil men and put them on hold, as it were. And I will begin to fulfill my work. I will cause the unsaved to begin to come and say, can we just camp under your covering because the blessing of the Lord is upon you. I'm going to take, saith God, the wealth of the sinner and I'm going to give it to the church because it's going to cost much in order to release my word. When I said that the gospel shall be preached unto the ends of the earth, I said that knowing what your culture would be like at the end of the age, that it would be an electronic age. It would be an age of mass media. So I'm raising up. I'm even going to give understanding to men that will be able to come up with new ideas in order to transfer the media content around the world world i'm gonna raise up satellites in fact saith the lord i'm gonna take satellites that belong to hollywood and belong to other networks that wouldn't use it for my glory i'm gonna take the ownership of those and i'm gonna transfer them to the house of god this time saith the lord that which will be on the networks on television won't be some watered down mealy mouth gospel it will not be to rape my people financially, but it will be to release the pure move of the Lord. Also know this, saith God, there is an Ananias and Sapphira anointing that I am releasing in the house of the Lord. Deacons are going to drop dead. Worship leaders are going to drop dead. Unrepentant, unholy preachers are going to drop dead because I've warned, I've warned, and I've warned for my house shall be called a house of prayer and not a den of thieves. Do you think that I would allow sin to stain the garments of glory that are going to be covered on my people? Not so, saith God. From the child to the oldest, they will be holy and the sound will be as the elders cry around my throne. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. In the midst of that, demons will bow down demon spirits will acquiesce they will come out of their own accord because of the majesty of my power and my anointing saith God this will come in waves I hear the Lord saying that it will come in waves. And just when you think, God, we can't take any more, God said another wave will hit. But it will be strategic. One week, you will hear about the wave of God hitting one area in a nation. And then three days later, you will hear it's happened over here. And then it's happened over here. The Lord says that I have God portals all over the earth. But God said I hit them. Because I did not want the enemy to touch them 
or know where they were. In fact, I, I'm hearing this in the spirit. The Lord says <clears throat> that there are many that have petitioned me and said, God, uncover us. The Lord said, I hid you for a reason. I hid you to protect you while I was preparing, not you only, but your future of where you would operate in the spirit of the Lord. God says it's as if the table has now been set. And this rest of this year, saith God, I'm going to begin to light up God portals. The Lord says the light that will begin in these God portals is miraculous healings. This will not be about short legs or deaf ears. This will be things that no one can explain. You will see legs grow out. You will see eyes grow back in sockets. <clears throat> Say, why, Lord? Because I'm a God of creation. I am a creative God. And God says, when I get around things the enemy has damaged, I have to restore just as I did, hallelujah, at the beginning of Genesis, I restored, I restored, I restored. And on the seventh day, I rested. Know this, saith the Lord, there is a spirit of rest <clears throat> coming on the house of the Lord. But do not think that rest means that you will be idle. It will not be that. You will be more busy, more involved than you've ever been. But it will not take virtue out of you. It will not deplete you, says the Lord. But there'll be times you'll be awake for a long time. Yet it will be as if you've had a whole night's rest by the power of God. I am going to do things that I did in the book of Acts. There is a revival of the anointing and the power of the Lord God Almighty. I'm going to take the tools that the enemy has and I'm going to use them for my own glory. I'm going to cause the enemy to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm going to make anchors on live news tell things that they had no interest in telling. I am going to make the enemy devour themselves. I'm going to make them uncover each other. And when it happens, it will be like a tsunami that cannot be stopped until evil has been uncovered and righteousness and equity and justice shall rule and reign in the earth, saith the Lord. My church is so close to coming home that even now the table is being set for the marriage supper of the Lamb. It's like I can see angels that are putting out napkins and plates. They're setting out silverware because they are preparing for the coming of the Lord. This is not like other times. You do not have many years in the future. This is not another move like Azusa Street. It's not another move like the 50s.
Thank you.